Okay, and welcome to the workshop on how to be your cat. <laughs> and here we have uh, a cat um, stroking her ear, licking herself, looking pretty, uh, being on all fours, just like being a little feline self, uh, wiggling a bottom. Um, yeah, so in my mind's eye, if you wanna, if you're, if you're looking for a non-verbal character, uh, be a cat because it's not really going to talk um and you're just going to sort of prance around like staring at people holding people's gazes maybe like sort of playing with people but then running away and then going mm -hmm. um and um we suggest you get some knee pads if you're going to be on all fours and you're more likely going to be in the pub like rather than outside in the woods um and i've just got some little notes down here about um things you can do with the cat um like we can have wool to play with and I think actually Freya had a good idea of having these little places where everyone gets completely trapped up in wool and that could be an interaction where the cats instigate this like crazy wool thing and we've got licking ourselves <laughs> or stretching that stretch or you could be a playful or a sassy cat or we can have little bowls of milk and we can have licking the milk. Um, and what else, Maddie? Tell us about how to be a cat. What else? Uh, well, you're going to meow quite a lot. Yeah. Um, meowing is your communication, I guess. Unless, I, I guess you could be a talking cat, but I'm feeling, I'm personally feeling like the cats are more non-verbal non ones, but doesn't mean they're not communicating. So you have to think about what you're saying through your body and through your meowing. Um, it's really fun to experiment with what you can get away with as a cat so you can get away with holding people's eye contact for a lot longer than you might if you were yourself walking around seeing garden party um you can like be a sassy cat who kind of gets in the way and wants to just rub all over things or you can be a sleepy cat who just wants to be rolling around and getting stroked all the time or you could be a really playful cat who's like grabbing grabbing people's shoelaces or um yeah I think like tuning into what like when you're in your cat character like tuning into what you genuinely want to do and kind of tuning in with your inner child idea of what you might want to be playing with in that space at the time like if something looks really fun gravitate towards it <laughs> or if something looks really cozy gravitate towards it if something looks really you know that kind of thing what you're drawn towards and then we were talking about like um yeah so people like to pet cats so um we we think that there will be touch involved and maybe you can invite people to like stroke your hair or stroke your you might be wearing yeah. a light outfit and stroke yourself but um on your terms on your terms so if you don't like someone touching you you can in character be less um, they, yeah. you can and be obviously if it's really extreme you can intervene or Maybe maybe grannies could also be looking out for cats, but obviously if you're not feeling safe, you can stop play and walk away or like point it out to somebody else to like speak to that person that might have done something inappropriate. But cats like things on their terms anyway, so it's in character to be very consentful and and to fake lash out if you don't like something. Yeah. Um, to invite a tickle but then to be like Meow. after all <laughs> it's also cool <laughs> great and you've actually been a, a cat in the pussycat lounge so you have done this before in front of an audience and how do they yeah. usually respond to you they usually they, they usually like forget you're a person and just sort of get overwhelmed by the cuteness of being able to interact with the kitten and like and you know you kind of want to in that yeah I, I don't mind most of the time being tickled and stroked so I quite like to sort of stretch over people and kind of have my sides rubbed and like roll over but I also like to turn a bit playful and kind of um get tangled up in stuff and and be quite physical and rolling around um I like to find the game with people as well kind of find something that is um not not yeah things that are outside of words that are fun to play with people to get them engaged in their kind of wordless fun playfulness yeah. as well amazing okay cool well I think that's uh, that's it for our little mini cat workshop but oh yeah also you did say and it were earlier speaking that everyone's homework if they're going to be a cat 
is to observe a cat and try and mirror them. So if you've got a friend's cat, next door neighbor's cat, just borrow the cat and just copy them for a little bit. And then yeah, get on the floor and face to face with the cat, just start mirroring them. <laughs> Oh, YouTube videos of cats. Just see the crazy things they do. And yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. That is how to be a cat. Thanks, everybody. Purr, purr, purr. Meow.